Welcome to Salad with a Side of Fries. I'm your host, Jen Trepic, talking wellness and weight loss for real life. We're here to clear up the myths, misinformation, bad science, and marketing to teach you how to eat and how to cheat. Are you ready? I'm having salad with a side of fries. This week, we're talking about milestones. September 14th, 2023 is my 40th birthday. And most people, when they hear this, they go, what? I thought you were closer to 30. And then they ask me how I feel about it, or they offer some wisdom from their 40th birthday or another landmark birthday of their own. And truthfully, just the whole thing has gotten me thinking about milestones and different kinds of milestones. With our health, maybe it's different benchmarks of health metrics or, you know, knock on wood, health events. I think there's life events like weddings, although I haven't done that yet. For some people, I haven't done this either, but having kids or speaking of kids, right? Like being different grades in school, certainly ages and birthdays are benchmarks. And as I've been reflecting, the commonality I'm finding with each of these is that they didn't necessarily seem like much in each moment. It's more that when we pause, when we look back, we identify something as a milestone, but maybe we didn't realize we were experiencing it as it happened. So this one, with a big milestone of a birthday, it's like I'm looking forward and backward at the same time. You know, it's like the anticipation of everything in life that's to come and also reflection. And I have to, I think surreal is the only word I can sort of put on it. I do have moments of like, how did I get here? <laughs> right? I don't know what I thought 40 would look like or feel like. I don't really have a profound answer when somebody asks how I feel about it. So I think I'm just going to share what's coming up and hopefully it resonates for you. So I will say I don't feel 40 or at least what I thought 40 was when I was a kid. And admittedly, it's sort of a fun thing when people guess my age and they think I'm way younger than I am. And then there's this thing which I learned from Christine, who has joined me on the podcast a few times. So Christine always says, no, this is 40. Or for her, right, this is 70. When we had this conversation, she said, this is what 70 looks like now. So I'm saying, this is what 40 looks like now. And maybe I'll live to 125 years old and I'm not even a third of the way through, <laughs> right? But I think the takeaway from what Christine shared with me and that I'm feeling in this moment is let's stop saying we don't look or act our age. Let's stop lying about our ages because we got to redefine age and aging. This is 40, right? This is what 40 looks like. I think it's exciting, <laughs> right? And I will say in all of this, like I am super curious to hear how you think of birthdays and milestones. I want to like, what have people said to you? Like maybe the best and the worst advice or guidance anyone's ever shared with you around these big birthdays. So definitely send me a message. I want to hear those things. And then just before recording this, a friend of mine, shout out to Keith, sent me a reel on Instagram and it was absolutely perfect for this moment. So I want to share it with you. It was a life quote by William Arthur Ward, who was an American motivational writer. So it says, the adventure of life is to learn. The purpose of life is to grow. The nature of life is to change. The challenge of life is to overcome. The essence of life is to care. The opportunity of life is to serve. The secret of life is to dare. The spice of life is to befriend. The beauty of life is to give. I know, let all that sink in. Maybe rewind a few seconds and listen to that again, because I know I listened to it a few times. And here's where I'm at with my 40th birthday now. You know, by these measures, I'm doing it. And funny enough, I find each of these things in my every day. And you listening and my clients and this podcast are all big pieces of this for me. So I guess I feel like I'm living 
I'm doing the things. I'm learning and I'm growing and I'm experiencing and I'm changing. And in my heart of hearts, I truly believe that the best is yet to come. So cheers with me for my 40th birthday. I am beyond grateful. And just thank you, thank you for celebrating with me. And I mean it. I want to hear from you. How do you celebrate milestones or how do you reflect? What was the best and worst advice anyone's ever shared with you on a big birthday? Send me a message, please. And with that, friends, as always, I'm your host and health coach, Jen Trepic. Connect with me on Instagram or all social media. I am at Jen Trepic, J-E-N-N. T R E P E C K. Website is a salad with a side of fries.com. You'll find the merch on the website. You can also send a message on the website or on social media. Send a message so that you can share your ideas, your takeaways, your questions. This is also the easiest way to learn more about working with me as your health coach this fall. My next group program is starting this fall in just a couple weeks. It's filling up fast, but be sure to reach out if this is interesting to you. And if you're not quite ready for that, join the membership by going to glow.fm slash salad with a side of fries, or just click the link in the show notes. The membership supports this podcast and this community, but most importantly, it truly supports your health. You'll get this week's recipe for the crispy apple and kohlrabi salad and your quarterly live session, which is a one-on-one, just you and me for 30 minutes. Well, friends, that's it for today's episode of Salad with a Side of Fries. Congratulations for making yourself and your health a priority. Thanks so much for joining us. Be sure to click subscribe or follow on your favorite podcast platform. Share us with a friend and we'll be back next week. Always remember, you deserve it and you are worth it. Happy healthy.